Hey, what's up guys, it's LG1T Legit, and this is tutorial episode 2 on how to anchor, and this will be on the map Raid. Uh, I think this is one of the most played maps uh, overall between all three game types. Yeah, hard point, uh, S&D, and CTF. At the beginning here, I go left side. I, as you see, I'm running Simtex and stun, so I'm automatically going to stun. Most good teams will have at least one person um, running a trophy system. So that's also very good for your team to, for the other side to run a trophy system there. Because I would easily pick off three people if they didn't do that, and maybe even grenade uh, or shoot by that time. Um, I have three subs run in. We run three subs on my team. Basically control that hill right away, and I get usually try to hit off laundry and the stairs right there. Uh, also, a team will sometimes send one middle, so I can cut that one off too. But then uh, once we get this hill... Uh, kind of under control, even if we don't, we want at least two people pushing through this other side and trying to get um, basically this side so we flip spawns. We want to block the spawns for the other team so they will spawn uh, either driveway over there by the white van or over by poolside by open stairs. Uh, for this next one, you make sure you least rotate. If you have this already, make sure you rotate around 15 seconds. That's what we usually do. Uh, it's usually not the biggest rotation, so we usually rotate. Uh, you actually want to come back here at the beginning, especially that 15 seconds. Sometimes their anchor is going to sneak up over pool stairs, or even sometimes good ones actually come around pools. Uh, basketball right there. Uh, but as the anchor here, I set up right here. Uh, make sure they don't come backside. Um, but then you're going to have a teammate watch out of money, which is this room right here. Uh, make sure they're not coming poolside and jumping in behind you. But I usually rotate between tree and money side or cutout right here. This is cutout right in this little corner here. Then at the next one, we usually rotate about 30 seconds, 25 seconds. It's all the way on the opposite side of garage. I usually rotate ringside just because they're usually still getting that spawn on poolside. Hard point identified. This is one of the hard ones, so I would say rotate around 30, 25 seconds. Uh, having this um, a good anchor would already be in there by the time you get there. Uh, so you have to be careful. This is the hardest one, so I would say, to actually hold or even start to have just because. Um, right at the beginning when I run in here, I usually blow blue van up. Because even if you have flak jacket, you could still easily die or get so hurt they just like tap you with a grenade or even a bullet. I usually hold this. Um, I usually have a sub either in Lambo, uh, Lambo area, or over here on poolside. Then they don't really have to watch that. Then another sub uh, watching zigzag. Then the other one watching art and bottom gym for you also. But usually they will spawn if your guys over by pool. They will spawn driveway here or art. So you do have to be careful about that. That's why I, an AR is actually watching gym. That's what my job is. Uh, this one here, I'm usually the last one to rotate, even though I am anchor. It just depends on the, si on the situation. Uh, usually I have almost full streaks by now, uh, are getting there, so I am a little bit more careful on rotating. Uh, that's just how it is. We're usually pretty good about holding this one. Uh, you want to rotate actually ring side. Do not rotate um, pools, especially three if you're running a submachine gun, uh, because it's easy to pick you off. They're going to be money or in the hill and then calling you out and easy death for you. So you want to make sure you rotate this top side. Sometimes there'll be someone on there, uh, even on this rock here, so you have to be careful. Those are good uh, spots for you to set, set up too. Uh, right at the beginning, I usually sit back here. Um, a lot of people usually don't sit, look back here when they're running by because they're just focusing on the hill. A good team, um, sometimes subs will actually run to this wall, look, then go. Um, but it just depends. But as an AR, or even three subs, um, it is good to hold that top. But a lot of the time I will come in here and just sit far back and try to get a couple kills and subs up close. So this this one I usually flood my team a little bit more uh, just because it's such an open hill and really can't get too crowded in here that much. And also, if you think they're really out slaying your team and that, have your whole team just jump in cube right here um, and wait for the streaks to come, because this is a good hill to streak, and a lot of teams will use their streaks on this hill. 
Uh, next one here, I usually rotate uh, towards basketball open stairs or even top ring. Just depends what what I'm doing at the moment and what the team's other team spawns are. Uh, you um, watch columns. If you're standing pool, you usually are not going to spawn behind you. Um, so it always depends where your team is uh, standing to. You usually have two subs in maybe in the hill and one kind of roaming around. You're going to spawn pillars, zigzag, or kitchen, just depending on where your team is standing, uh, depending on blocking the spawns. And even if you're standing here, they can still spawn right here behind you, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, just turn up those uh, headsets and you'll be able to hear them stomping by you. Uh, and for this last rotation to the first hill that we were doing, I usually go kitchen. You want to get the spawn automatically for the hill after it. And that's how you have to have your mindset. You want to get the hill after um, the hill that you're uh, currently on. So I usually go laundry and I usually have a sub right here. Um, even when I'm up here, just depending, if my team, like, they're still spawning behind me, they'll spawn, um, like, right here or something, um, I'll be okay. It's good to check. If you have three subs in the hill and there's really no movement behind you, I would check it. Um, because they could be trying to get this rotation on you, trying to kill you, and it'll basically push you off spawns over to driveway. You have to be careful about that. And that is Raid, one of the most played hardpoint maps. Uh, thanks for listening. Make sure you push that subscribe button. Comment below what map uh, you want left. I think we have two more slums in Yemen. And make sure you subscribe for those two coming up. Peace out, guys.